Okay, so I made it here to the airport. It is packed as usual. As you can see, everyone is in line right now. But to be honest, it's not as bad as the Orlando airport because that place was crazy. Anyways, I'm going to check in my luggage right now. Then after that, I'm going straight to the lounge because I'm hungry and I want to relax. So I'm going to definitely do that. And honestly, I've been thinking like, I know a lot of people always say, oh, it's good to travel with carry-on only, but because I'm traveling with Spirit today, their carry-on options were more expensive than their checked bag. So I got a checked bag, even though I have a carry-on size, if that makes sense. So I think next time I'm just going to keep paying for checked luggage and just, you know, have more space with my bigger luggage. And that way I don't have to like run around the airport with my, you know, my suitcase. All I will have is my backpack. Okay, so that's probably what I'm going to do next time because it's just easier. I know in taxis and stuff like that, it's easier to have a small uh, luggage suitcase. But I don't know. I'm going to try both and then I'll make my final decision after that. But anyways, yeah. So after this line, I'm going straight to the lounge to just get some food and relax. All right, guys, I just got through the worst part, which was security. Before you go, like while you're waiting in line to send in your bag, like to check in, make sure you scan. It's like this QR code that they usually have at the front. Scan that and then fill out that like immigration form online. So that way you don't have to like step aside before going into security. Cause that was like really annoying. I had to do that. But anyway, security went really fast. Right now I'm here in the main area my gate is c12 so it's this way but i'm really annoyed because i don't think there's a lounge on the in this terminal i'm so annoyed and see this is why i'm never doing spirit again because spirit is in this terminal and then the other terminals are international terminals as well and i could have definitely gotten like you know a lounge access because i don't think there's any here i'm pissed so now i'm gonna find a place where i could probably warm up warm up my pizza because I have pizza I want to warm it up see if maybe I could do that so we'll see we'll find out so there were no lounges on this in this terminal so you already know how I am I'm upset but it's all good I just got some Johnny Rockets because I have leftover pizza from yesterday but I couldn't find anywhere to warm it up and I don't like cold pizza I know I'm being very picky but whatever I just got some a burger and fries a chicken sandwich and yeah that's okay I should be fine and then I have time anyways for the flight so I'm gonna enjoy my sandwich and just relax because this vacation has been very fun and it's been very relaxing so the last thing I want to do is to go back stressed <laughs> so yeah y'all this burger is so good <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm starving right now but it's delicious also another thing when you come into Cancun don't lose the paper that they give you at immigration or at customs don't lose that because you need that when you return back to the states i don't know about any other country i'm just i only know about the states because i'm from there so you would definitely need to have that paper because if not they will charge you i think camille didn't have it and i think they charged her like she paid for someone else in line because some girl was freaking out so they charged her like 30 dollars or something like that or 25 dollars. i don't remember but don't lose that paper because you don't want to pay that. As I sat there and finished eating my food, I started to think about all of the adventures that I had here in Mexico. Arriving with my friends to Tulum, exploring Playa del Carmen and Cancun, to starting my own adventure all on my own. This was such a great and important trip for me because it started and gave me the confidence and the courage that I needed to start solo travel. And I'm so happy that I followed through with it because it made me learn so many things about myself. I met new people and I tried out new experiences, which I encourage all of you out there to do because traveling solo is very different than traveling in a group. And that's why Mexico is always gonna be in a special place in my heart anyways I'm gonna end the video here um, and then I'm gonna pick up in the next video so I have a lot of editing to do when I get home by the time you watch this video it will be the end of the Mexico series so thanks for watching thanks for following along and you know watching these videos for entertainment or for research purposes if you really enjoyed them like 
comment if you want and subscribe and also share with your friends if you found it helpful if you're like oh my god my friend is going to Tulum my friend's going to Mexico send them this video and it could serve as some assistance or some help for them so yeah I'll see you guys in the next one bye